12 month warranty inspection. This is something that I'm seeing uh, more often with electrical panels. These large gaps around the panel, NEC requires nothing larger than one eighth inch. One other thing, these panels should be installed tight to the sheetrock. That's what the state code says. And that is so that, there it is, the um, dead front cover can be installed flush to this metal cabinet. That way it makes a good seal in case there's an arc. And this is something I'm seeing more and more. See a large gap between the sheetrock and the panel? This is a material defect. They will have to take this cabinet and unscrew it and pull it flush to the sheetrock. 12 month warranty inspection. This house has been passed by the inspector for the city. I performed my 12 month warranty inspections. The codes that I referenced come out of this code book. This is the 2018 South Carolina Residential Code Book. If we turn to page 716, this is going to be uh, cabinets and panel boards. So that's what we were just inspecting was a panel board. We're gonna scroll down to um, position in the wall. And uh, that's code number uh, E3907.3, position wall. In walls of concrete, tile, or other non-combustible materials, cabinets and panel boards shall be installed so the front edge of the cabinet will not set back of the finished surface more than a quarter inch. Now we're in a combustible wall. It's a wood wall and um, so we have to start down here. In walls constructed of wood or other combustible materials, cabinets shall be flush with the finished surface or shall project therefrom. So um, the electrician is going to have to come back to this house and move this panel board so he's in compliance with this code. Um, again, 12 month warranty inspection. I find this all the time. Every panel board has been already approved by the authority having uh, jurisdiction.